and the sun went nova, and humanity fragmented and fled. Humans, however, being humans. I want to do a series of little short uh, clips where I talk about stories or, or books that really affected me during my childhood. And I thought I couldn't really begin in a better place than with Theodore Sturgeon. The story that really pushed me into my love of science fiction is probably a story called The Skills of Xanadu, which I found in an anthology in a little bookshelf in my school homeroom in Thailand, which had a little library, mostly of, it was an English speaking school. So, so many of the people who went there were the children of expatriates and often they would be posted to Thailand uh, for very short amounts of time and they would have uh, things that they could donate to the school of books and, and so on. And this story that I read, The Skills of Xanadu, it's set in a far-flung future where people have uh, colonized the entire galaxy and are so widespread that they don't really all know each other again. And there's one little planet that specializes in sort of conquering other worlds. And um, this character from a, the planet is called Kit Carson. And uh, the guy from this planet comes to an unknown space, believing that he's going to take over this primitive, uncivilized society completely. And then he slowly discovers that they have a completely other view of the world and that they're living in what, to all intents and purposes, is a utopia completely at harmony with the planet itself and with each other. This, this story it was amazingly beautiful to me and so beautifully written. It made me yearn for utopia in a way that I never had before. I mean, I had, even at that young age, read such dystopian literature as, as 1984. But, but this was a future where people could be in harmony with nature, with the earth, could really be in harmony with each other. And it was a society which was completely motivated by love. Years later, well, about probably at least 20 years later, when I came to the States and I came to meet Ted Sturgeon himself, I, he seemed to me to be the very embodiment of, of the universe that he created in, in that story. I was very fortunate in not only becoming close to him, but also being the beneficiary of a lot of frank and, and unstinting advice from him about my writing. And I think I became a, a far more perceptive writer because of, because of him. He was just somebody who was full of love and it shows in his fiction, which um, in which the least sympathetic characters have a deeply empathic way that they are written. Uh, my first short story that I sold professionally to Analog uh, was called The Thirteenth Utopia, and in a sense, it really is the sort of great grandchild of Theodore Sturgeon's story, the, of the skills of Xanadu. In fact, I took the lessons that I learned from that story and interpreted them in, in my, my own way. So that story, in fact, became the basis of an entire series, uh, a five book series, uh, which is still ongoing. And so I, um, I think I have him to thank for really being the inspiration that kick-started um, my whole career. <laughs>